devil fruits don't make sense. If you were one day given the choice out of nowhere, the opportunity to eat a random devil fruit given to you, would you eat it? A completely random devil fruit that you don't know. Me personally, as an adrenaline fiend and as someone who would say has the RNG gods on his side for the most part, would say absolutely yes in every scenario. The only real drawback to having a devil fruit power is not being able to swim. And I'm not some competitive Olympic swimmer or anything, so I think I'd be completely fine not having to step in a pool or the ocean ever again. Even if I lived in the One Piece world, it doesn't matter. We have boats, don't we? But even knowing all that, I think we can all admit sometimes devil fruit abilities and powers are just straight up whack. But one fruit power that isn't whack is the devil fruit that you'll get when you subscribe to the channel. Make sure to click that subscribe button for your chance to win my devil fruit giveaway. All right, now back to the video. Like going back to the earlier scenario, what if I just ate that random devil fruit and turns out my stupid ass ended up with the human human fruit? And not any of the cool ones either, like Sengoku's Buddha model or the Nika model, nah. Just Chopper's base human human fruit. It's just a straight up nerf. Like the devil fruit wouldn't even do anything, except make me sink like a stone. And I'm not a genius doctor like Chopper or anything, so making rumble balls to get any use out of this devil fruit power is off the table as well. Like, why does this fruit even exist? If I found this fruit in the One Piece world, I wouldn't even sell it. I'd just chuck it into a fire and get rid of that worthless piece of trash. Actually, that brings up an interesting question. What happens when you just destroy a devil fruit? Like, we know that devil fruits will just randomly reappear in the world after the user of that fruit dies. But what would happen if you just destroyed it? And is it possible for a devil fruit to reappear inside your stomach? And for that matter, what counts as eating a devil fruit? If I stuck a devil fruit up my asshole, does that count as me eating it? I mean, it's inside me, is it not? But moving on to a more infuriating topic, it is said that devil fruit powers are completely unique and no two devil fruits are the same. Well, perhaps no two are the same, but calling each and every devil fruit unique is just straight up fucking cap. Let's not pretend that there doesn't exist some devil fruits out there that are just straight up copies of the other, but one is just blatantly worse. The most egregious example I can think of off the top of my head is Miss Valentine's Kilo Kilo fruit and the Ton Ton fruit. It's literally the same thing except the Ton Ton fruit is just heavier. That's it. Completely unique my ass. There's also Very Good's Berry Berry fruit, which just allows the user to turn his body parts into balls or I guess berries, which is just the worst version of Buggy's Chop Chop Fruit because Buggy can separate whatever body part he wants whenever he wants to, and he can make them fly. Also, he can become a car. Oh my God, what can't this devil fruit do? I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. This devil fruit single-handedly made Buggy the strongest Yonko. There's also this random Marine's Rust Rust Fruit and Shinobu's Ripe Ripe Fruit. They both do basically the same thing, except the ripe ripe fruit is just way more versatile. Like it can legalize kids, I guess. Also, can we talk about the fact that all Logia type fruits by design are basically the same? Like they all allow the user to turn into a natural substance. But of course, I guess I'll concede and say, yeah, turning into smoke and turning into ice isn't the same thing. But you can't tell me that Ace's Flare Flare Fruit is just a weaker version of a Kainu's Magma Magma Fruit. But okay, Magma is Molten Rock and Fire is Fire. That's fair, I guess. But tell me that Caesar's Gas Gas Fruit isn't just a straight up better version of Smoker's Smoke Smoke Fruit. Caesar can literally control an entire state of matter. It's basically a better version of any other Gas Logia type fruits. Could you imagine being a random ass pirate in the One Piece world and you finally lucked out by finding and eating a Logia type devil fruit only to be taken out by someone who had basically the same power but yours was just weaker? Also the whole Logia classification system is pretty fucking weird itself. Like I understand why Luffy's devil fruit isn't a Logia. He can't generate rubber and he can't become intangible like other devil fruit users can. I get it. But why the hell is Katakuri's fruit not considered a Logia type fruit? Now, before you type in the comments, it's because Katakuri's devil fruit turns him into mochi, which isn't a naturally occurring element. 
Therefore, it is classified under a special Paramecia type. And so ignoring this non-canon devil fruit that is a Logia, okay, I can accept that's a good reason as to why it's not a normal Logia type. So why not just call it a special Logia type instead? Like, why put it into the Paramecia category? Oda legit just made a whole ass new Paramecia specification just for this one Logia fruit. And you know what? Since we're on the topic of stupidly named devil fruits, why is Luffy's devil fruit called the gum gum fruit? Like, the flare flare fruit can turn you into fire. Okay, good. The mochi mochi fruit can turn you into mochi. Perfect. But the gum gum fruit turns you into rubber? I realize that this is only really an issue in the English translation of One Piece. I know that gomu means rubber in Japanese, so the gomu gomu no mi is named perfectly fine. But since we're on the English side of the show, I feel like I have the right to complain about this. Because it takes me out of the show every time I think about it. Like, what if Oda eventually does reveal a gum gum... Ugh, special paramecia type fruit into One Piece? What are we going to call it? Especially in the English dub. So, this is something I've been wondering ever since I saw this panel from the Egghead arc in One Piece. Now, I guess this is technically a spoiler for the most recent arc in One Piece, but I honestly wouldn't even count this as a spoiler. Like, say, the Nika spoiler. So, fair warning, this is the panel I'm talking about. So, Vegapunk basically proposes his theory that devil fruits are just the manifestations of human desires for the next evolutionary step in humanity. And you know what? When I first read this, I was happy with that theory. It made sense. I mean, if we all evolved into Fire Logia type users, then humans would be pretty OP. But the more I thought about it, the more questions I had concerning the people of the One Piece world. If this theory is true, then who the fuck desired for the next evolutionary step for humanity to be turning into a fucking jacket? Or what actual person thought, wow, I sure wish I could have all the powers and abilities of a regular human being, or turning into balls, or just any of the weird ass devil fruits I've mentioned in this video? Who wanted this? Seriously, if anyone can reasonably justify to me why you'd actually want the jacket jacket fruit in the comments, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. Again, please be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Even if you didn't and you hate my guts for my opinions, still subscribe. Maybe you'll like me in my next video. So as you guys might have guessed, I'm actually thinking about turning these blanks make no sense videos into a series on the channel. I have a couple ideas in mind, but what do you guys think? Should I make the jutsus don't make sense video or the cursed techniques don't make sense video first? I'm leaning more towards Jutsus because I know Naruto way more than I do Jujutsu Kaisen. But either way, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. And that video will probably be the next next video I do because I do have a, a video idea in mind for the next video. So with all that being said, I'll see y'all next time.